all night, but I declare Tom and Ben's annual secret strategy meeting officially over. Airshake? Wow, an airshake? That's almost touching. Thank you. Uh, ooh, early morning airshake. Can I get a piece of that action? I take it the meeting went well? Let's just say we're on our way to being the top mm -hmm. tech company in oh, town. No way! I thought the CEO had the top tech company in town. Not for long, thanks to our secret strategy, which I'll email to Ben now. This secret plan is so good, I almost feel bad for the CEO. Speaking of the CEO, how do you spell CEO? CEO? Just like it sounds? Yes, Hank. CEO is simply spelled CEO. CEO? And the email has been sent. Hmm, I didn't get it yet. Eh, maybe it's up in the cloud. I don't see any clouds. Still not here. Uh-oh. Oh, no. What? Um, remember when I was typing an email and you guys were saying C-E-O a lot? What did you do, Tom? Well... What did you do, Tom? Uh, I accidentally sent our secret plan to the CEO. No! Ah! Almost got it. Then maybe we can fix someone's massive blunder. <sighs> oh, don't beat yourself up, Tom. I'm sure we've all made mistakes that could end up ruining everything we've worked so hard for. Right, guys? Nope, not me. <laughs> oh! Whoops. Me neither. None of us have. This is the biggest mistake that even Tom has ever made. Well, that you know of. <laughs> But seriously, how do I fix this? I might have a solution, but it's risky. So, I redesigned this teleportation disk to beam us into the internet where, where we, we can catch the email and destroy it before the CEO even reads it. Yes, if we're lucky. But there's also a chance we'll open a portal between the two worlds. Sounds good. To the internet! But wait! What if you can't get to the email before the CEO does? That's where you and Hank come in. We need you to go to the CEO's office and do whatever it takes to keep him from opening that email. Okay. Ginger, you stay here and monitor our progress from Tom's laptop. Got it. I'll be your eyes and ears IRL. In real life. Wait a minute. Tom, let's go. Internet, now. Wow. Okay, wow. Welcome to the internet! Wow, this place is... Perfect, I know, but let's focus. There are millions of emails zipping around. It's not gonna be easy to find yours. Hey, there's my email! Straight ahead! Hee hee hee! You'll never catch me! Hope you can run, cause I do this for fun! Sam! Hey, get back here and let me delete you! Get him, boys! Use your feet! Let's go! Uh... Hey, not so fast! Wow, being tall is harder than I thought. Huh? <clears throat> Good morning, fellow businesswoman. Sure is a business kind of day. <laughs> yes, indeed it is. Psst, oh, my card. Uh, uh, <gasps> uh, <laughs> Did your stomach just sneeze? No. Nope. <laughs> I'd inquire further, but coffee is calling. Hello, Mr. Coffee. I'll put your call back. Phew. Well, that was close. Wait, what are you doing here? Uh, well... Hey, hey, hey! Oh, there he is! Don't let him get away! Ooh, I could use a free phone. It's a trap, Tom! Nothing's free on the internet! Close it up! Before it multiplies! I'm trying to stop that email with some firewalls! Here they come! Careful with those, Ginger. Yeah. Yes! Now we've got you right where we... Yeah. They've got a mind of their own! I can't control them! Look at me! <laughs> well, what is this? Oh, it's all the viruses that were caught in the spam filter. Good thing they're in there, or they'd eat this place bit by bit. That doesn't sound good. You're gonna have to jump in! Uh, all right. Hurry, Tom! Before we lose him! Okay. <gasps> Tom! Uh, 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 got you! Uh, got you! Uh, 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 go! 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 
Coochie coochie cool gold, who's the best fish? So, you're not ready to talk, eh? That's fine. I've got all day. You have a meeting at noon. I've got until noon. I'll just confirm by checking my email. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay, we'll tell you everything. Oh, you'll tell me everything about what? Uh, tell him, Angela. Wait, wait, me? We, we had to wear a disguise so we could sneak over here without Tom finding out. Isn't that right, Hank? Uh, all right, uh, because of the terrible thing Tom did. Tell him, Angela. Uh, yes, Tom double-crossed us, and now we want to team up with you to double-cross him back. Oh, so you want the double-crosser to become the double-crossee. Uh, yeah, yep. pretty much. Exactly. Well, that makes perfect sense. Let's work together to take down our common enemy. Uncle, what if they're lying? Oh, I know they're lying, but they don't know that I know they're lying. And when I find out what they're lying about, I'll destroy Tom and Ben Enterprises. Destroy. <laughs> 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 yeah, almost got me. We've almost got him. Come on, run faster. Oh, run faster. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> Uh, what's happening? Must be a bad internet connection. <laughs> Ginger, what was that sound? Nothing. Are you on the toilet with my laptop? You just focus on the mission, boys. The Wi-Fi signal is weak in the bathroom. Get out of there! The email's almost to the inbox. <laughs> Hang on, I just need to wash my hands. Hey, 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 you're out of luck because you got stuck. Ginger! This. this is all my fault. Tom, you're being hard on yourself. Huh, thank you. Of course this is all your fault. Oh. You wrote the email, you sent it to the CEO, you taunted the email the whole time, which made it run even faster. And worst of all, you have ruined Tom and Ben Enterprises. Mm. Wait a minute. Hey, what are you doing? If Hank and Angela manage to distract the CEO, might not be too late to get that email. Stop! The inbox is too dangerous! Oh, boy. You know, we could really take down Tom if you tell us some of his secrets. Oh, do we have a juicy Tom secret. Uh, uh, go ahead, Angela. Oh, uh, Tom says he doesn't like kids' stuff, but one time... Just one second, just got an email. Oh, <gasps> hopefully it's about the hot tub. Sweet! Uh-uh-uh, oh. so that's your little game, huh? Phone taking. Oh. Now, why would you want to take someone's... Oh, I see. What is going on? It's the CEO! Ow! We have to get out of here before we get trapped! Crush or swipe! No, Ben. I'm not going anywhere without this email. Oh, no. He must be increasing his security settings. You have to get out of here, Tom. Save yourself. I can't leave without you. You have to. But the email. If the CEO sees it, he'll destroy our company. There won't be a company to destroy if we're both stuck in here forever. You have to get out, Tom. Now! Go! <laughs> I locked things down quick enough to catch the email. And the nerdy one, too. Look! Stop! <gasps> Wait, no! You can't feed her again! Oh, I can. And I will. Put the nerd down now or the fish gets fed. <laughs> good thing they're in there or they'd eat this place bit by bit. That doesn't sound good. Hmm. There's only one way to settle this. On the count of three, we are all gonna put everything down at the same time. That way no one gets hurt. Three! <gasps> it really worked. Ha! Whoa! Ha -ha! That's a bear! Ha ha! Now let's see this. Wait a minute. Wait, seriously? What? What's wrong with my coat? What is this? Ben! Ah! Ah! Oh! 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 Let's get out of here! You came back, and you brought the viruses out. That was quick thinking. I wasn't thinking. I was remembering. I was remembering that our company isn't just a list of ideas in an email. 
It's us. And you can't have Tom and Ben Enterprises without and Ben. Ha! Thanks, Tom. Airshake? We did it! And hopefully without opening a portal between our world and the computer world. Hmm. Ginger? What in the name of money is going on here? Uh, Televagula? What? Let's get out of here! Haha, <laughs> 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 good one, Dare Bear! Ah, we're trapped! Like businessmen in a meeting! Huh? Ah! Someone just say, escape? No, why? Grab Hank and hold my hand! Wait, how did you. Whoa! Could this day get any worse? Huh? What the? Oh, oh, get him off! Get him off! Get him off! Get him off! Hurry! We don't want to miss the grand opening of the hippest slushy store in town! I want to be the first in line to try their amazing color combinations! <laughs> And I want to try their blue. Uh, that's a missed opportunity. I found that the real test of a slushy artist is if they can handle the simple elegance of blue. Congratulations. You're being promoted <gasps> to intern. Do I get to press the secret button that makes the elevators get stuck? Even better, you get to be in charge of cleaning my beloved Goldie's fishbowl. Wait, but that's physical labor. Can't you get a robot to do that? You need the caring hand of a person to clean a fishbowl. I'm trusting you to be that caring hand. Or else. Mm. Well, I'm off to golf and have meetings. No, Uncle CEO. Good stop. luck, Karen. Or as I'll now call you, intern. Oh. This is a waste of my talents. Fish. No, 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 This slushy is amazing! I like blue! Another day where I don't stray out of my comfort zone. No! Huh? So the fish literally fell out of the sky? Like a fish angel. But not an angel fish. This is so unfair! The only thing that ever fell into a cup I was holding was a bug. It's not so great, Ginger. My slushy was ruined. And by the time we got back to the store, the line was around the block. How could this have happened? Was someone testing a fish catapult? It's a mystery. And so far, the fish isn't talking. There is something familiar about it. Hmm. Are you going to keep it, Hank? No way. My life is complicated enough without a fish coming in and shaking everything up. I don't even know how to take care of one of these. What kind of food do fish eat? Fish food? Where am I going to get that? Sorry, buddy. You and I are going to have to part ways. Don't look at me like that. It's what's best for both of us. Go on. Shoot. Get out of here. Oh. Hey! I got something! Just another bug. I made a found fish poster. Do you think I should ask for a reward? <laughs> huh? Oh, sorry, Tob. Me and Orangey here were just waiting to see if this show had any sharks. You know, to give her something to look up to. Orangey? You named the fish that you're getting rid of. I've been thinking it might not be so bad to keep Orangey around. And I've been studying up on the proper care of these creatures. <laughs> Here you go, Orgy. Hank, someone might be looking for that fish. I mean, we should at least put these posters on some of these telephone poles. Tob, Orgy isn't a guitar lesson or a used sofa. She's a friend. A best friend, you say? Well, it's still a little early for that, but things are definitely looking promising. Mm -hmm. Huh. Yes! Guys, this fish has changed my world. 
I've got to admit, she really brings out the best in you. And you know, it's nice that you'll have something to do while me and Tom are busy running a company and being in relationships and when I'm winning science awards and Tom is the mayor. And... I know, right? Now we're all busy. Guys, you might want to check out what's happening on TV right now. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with a heavy heart that I tell you that my beloved Goldie has gone missing. Oh, I feel bad for him. Oh. Uh, Hank, when the fish fell into your cup, were you walking past the CEO's building? Hmm, hard to say. You know, I think we were by his building, but why do you... <gasps> oh, no. Goldie hasn't been seen since my intern cleaned her bowl, which he repeatedly assures me went fine. Right, it was a textbook bowl cleaning. I think it was... Fish thieves. Fish thieves? This keeps getting worse. What are you all talking about? Am I missing something? Hank, that's not your fish. Hmm? It's the CEO's fish! <gasps> uh-uh! His fish has an entirely different color-based name, right? I don't cry, but I've hired a man to cry for me so you'll all understand how much I miss my fish. <laughs> this pathetic man is a reflection of my heart, so if you know anything, please help me get my Goldie back. Cry harder! I'm really sad! Look at those pictures! It's the same fish! We have to do the right thing and bring her back. Yeah, you're right. We'll have to bring her back. Orangey, run! Run! Wait! Hey, put that down! Uh, Hank? If we don't give the fish back, we'll be forever branded as... Fish thieves. No, Orangey is my friend, so I'm just gonna have to tell the CEO and O. <laughs> they don't want us to be friends, but we only need each other. See, we'll watch TV on this. We'll build a whole life in here together. Come on, it's on every channel. What are you doing? Why are you swimming towards the CEO? <gasps> oh. Guys, I talked to Orangey and, well, I'm ready to bring her home. Okay, yeah. good, good. Now, all we have to do is figure out how to get that fish back in its office. Angela, you'll drive up to the building in a seafood delivery truck. Meanwhile, Ben will happen to be in the lobby for a meeting dressed as an aquarium employee. Now, as everyone knows, when aquarium people and seafood people see each other, everyone expects a fight. So, the distraction will draw the receptionist away from her desk, giving me and Hank a four-minute window to enter the CEO's office. Wait a minute. What if you just tell the CEO the truth about what happened? It's not like you did anything wrong. And he said he just wants his fish back. Oh, yeah, that might be easier. <sighs> All right, come on. Can we make it quick? Because my heart is telling me to run. Oh. Hello, CEO? We have your fish. Huh? Goldie, is it really you? It'll be okay, Orangey. Promise you'll remember me whenever you fall out a window. It turns out the fish uh, fell out of your window and, and landed in Hank's drink. I, 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 you know how that goes. <laughs> oh, sweet Tom, you don't have to tell me anything. <laughs> because nothing you say is going to stop me from revenging on you like I've never revenged before. What? But you said on TV you just wanted the fish back. Oh, I wanted two things. I wanted Goldie back and revenge. I bet they stole Goldie so they could bring her back and be heroes. This fish may have stolen my heart, but I would never steal this fish. You boys are going to jail. <gasps> and not the nice jail I would go to if I ever say, oh, punch the king. No, you're going to regular jail. Uh, uh, wait, huh? Orangey's tried to tell us something. She's scared of Darren. She's rattled from being stolen. Oh, Goldie, you're with friends now. Or Darren is the one that dropped her out of the window. <gasps> That's a lie. I was being careful with Goldie, just like I'm being huh? now. Oh, no, Orangey! No. Oh, no, 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 Goldie, no! Oh, no. My inheritance, I mean, my uncle. Uh. 
Uh, we have to save Goldy! Uh, Hand her to me, and then fall to your doom! Huh? Uh, 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 So, it's all true. You're the only thing worse than a fish thief. You're a fish dropper. You're fired from being my intern. You're back to just being Darren. No, Uncle CEO, please. Get out. Oh, fiddlesticks. <laughs> and you two, you saved my fish. And as a sign of my gratitude, I won't call security for 30 seconds. Let's go, Hank. Come on, I'll buy you a slushie. Nah, I don't think I'll be drinking any slushies for a long time. Too many memories. What's that, Goldie? You can't really mean that. Wait! Huh? Maybe someday you can see Goldie again. <gasps> really? Do you mean it? Wow, CEO. Looks like there's some kindness in your heart after all. Huh? Wait, uh, that, it seems inaccurate. Time's up, Tom. Security! Let's go, Hank. Same as always? Blue? Nah, blue is for people who won't leave their comfort zone. I think I'm ready to try red, or yellow, or, or what about orange? No, mauve, a plaid. Elevator levitating boots are amazing. Why haven't we released them to the public yet? Ah! Ah! Well, that would be one reason to remove. Oh, uh, Get me oh, down! Uh, I got it. Yeah. Ah! Ah! Watch out for my patient's head! Uh. Ah! Hey, Ben. Ah! Ben? <laughs> it's the Z. Hi, friends, and by friends, I mean customers. Ah! Take a look at my new Super Spy Sound Recording Device. Super Spy Sound Recording Device. Going to find out what... This bargain baby is perfect if you want to say, I don't know, spy on a small ah! garage-based tech company. <laughs> Uh-oh. All right, I got it now. Ah! Oh! Ow. Ah! Ah! Ben, wake up. You've got to wake up, buddy. Oh. What happened? Who, who are you? Oh, no. I am Hank. This is Ginger. And this is Tom. Tom, what happened to me? I definitely did not drop you on your head, that's for sure. Wait, it's all coming back. Yes, I remember everything. You did drop me on my head. Thank goodness. Thank goodness I dropped you? Okay, guys, he's still out of it. If you like it that much, you could try again. No, go first. Give me oh. that. I meant, thank goodness, I remember what's up here. Imagine if the contents of my brain were lost forever. A disaster. That's it. I need a backup system. Someone to pass all my data on to. A protege. Well, how about me, since I'm standing right next to you? Oop, let me make room for new stuff. <clears throat> Ow. Actually, my protege should be someone younger, impressionable. Aww. Someone like, say, Ginger? Huh? You want to teach me science stuff? No offense, Ben, but science is ick. Am I to take that as a yes? Super spy sound recording device. Gonna find out what they're up to. Piston, turn the volume down on the spying device. They're gonna know we're here. Well, the CEO's spying on us again. So? All he knows is I'd rather eat lava than be Ben's protege helper. Fine, Ginger. I don't need you. I'll just go to your school, and scads of eager students will line up to be my protege. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, hmm. Well, this is a predictable, embarrassing disappointment. I'll just gather up my Erlenmeyer flasks and my graduated cylinders and be on my way, Hello. I suppose. Aloha! Huh? Am I late? What? Darren! Aloha! 
you're a loser. Everyone knows I'm going to win. I'm Baron. I'm unstoppable. I'm the best. Get lost before I give my honest opinion of you, which is that you're bratty, obnoxious, and mean. Oh, smart kids are so often misunderstood. Oh, well. As they say in Latin, ingenia male sape movant. Misfortune sharpens the genius. Hmm. As a child genius, I too was misunderstood. Maybe because I was always speaking Latin. <laughs> too funny. Darren, maybe I misjudged you. Babies on and ride the sky! Uh, 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 uh. There's only one pair of elevators. We can't afford to have you break our most fashionable invention yet. Everyone, Ahem. I'm pleased to announce I have found my protege. Hello, Paul. Come on, you chose Darren. He's a mean, spoiled, braggy cheater face. Fair point, and I really want to apologize to everyone. Thomas, can I call you Thomas? You seem so much more sophisticated than a Tom. Ha 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 yes, yes, of course, my good man. Whoa, Thomas is sophisticated. Tom, this is Darren. He is lying. No, 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 no. I'm a different person now. Maybe because I watched the Be Nice or Get Off the World episode of Alpha Squadron Explosion Go. Wow, that episode changed me too. I was a person who hadn't seen it, and then I saw it, and then I was a person who had seen it. Freaky. Or maybe it was listening to my favo song, What's Not to Love. <gasps> It's my song. I know. I wanted to compliment you. I just wasn't sure if I could talk to such an amazing talent directly. No, go ahead. Please, go ahead. Whatever it is that changed me, I've dedicated my life to knowledge. And I want to learn from the smartest guy in the world. Me. <laughs> he's talking about me. See? Smartest man in the world. <laughs> Come on. He's just acting like you guys are great to get what you want. Oh, you don't think we're great? Ugh, I don't do compliments. Ginger, it's obvious that you're jealous of my protege. Don't be. He's going to be a fantastic addition to our merry band. The moment we've all been waiting for is here. The elevators are now ready. Thanks to the help of my protege, Darren. Aloha. Ooh, or maybe, ah, I can't choose. They're both so appropriate. Wait, you let him wear the floaty boots? But he's only been here a day. Ginger, it's not how long you've known someone. It's how well. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> true. Ugh. Having much fun together since somebody got here. So I got us five tickets for tonight's cyborg extravaganza. Yay! Hooray! Uh oh, do the math. Don't change her. Five tickets? There are six of us. Oh, right. Darren. Hey, sorry, buddy. We'll miss you. Ginger, we can't leave Darren out of a big friend's trip. Sure you can. Here, I'll show you. Guys, it was going to be a surprise, but I have six tickets for tonight's Cyborg Stunt-tacular! The best giant robot fight in town! <laughs> All right! <laughs> Five tickets, there's six of us. No wonder he's not the protege. Maybe we should choose him over you. He's nice and helpful, and he wants to learn everything you are not. Fine. If that's how it's gonna be, I'm out of here. Are we okay with Ginger leaving? Well, he was being a brat. Look what he did to the elevators! Don't worry about it, Min. You go without me. I'll stay behind and fix the boots. But, but, but... Butts off for sitting at the cyborg stunt I'll hear no more of it. Besides, I can use all the amazing things you've taught me. Wow, you're the best protege a genius scientist could hope for. I was wrong about you, just like Ginger's wrong about you now. <laughs> Ooh, of all the giant robot fights I've never seen, that was by far the best. It's too bad Darren couldn't be there. He would have loved it. As much as I'm going to love the repairs he made to those elevators. Huh. Darren? Where is Darren? And where are the elevators? Well, they're not in your work area where you left them. They're not in the fridge where I sometimes leave things. Hey, my hiking boots! 
They're not in the bathroom. Mm. It's not like the Darren I know so well to be careless with cutting-edge technology. Yeah, that's the sort of thing Ginger would do. Ah! <gasps> Ginger. Phone. Dial Ginger! Hey, guys. I bet you're calling to apologize for being mean to me. I forgive you. Where are I my forget. elevators? How should I know? Maybe stupid Darren took them. Oh, ho, ho, that's nice. You steal my boots and then accuse my innocent new friend of something you clearly did. Seriously, I was in my backyard digging a hole. Well, you're going to have plenty of time for hole digging now because you won't be coming over here anymore. But... Good day! Wow, Ginger works fast. He already put the elevators on TV. He put the what on the what? Hello, consumer friends. Welcome to a live demonstration of my newest invention, elevator boots. Of course, I didn't invent them all by myself. I also got to thank my nephew, Darren. Aloha, what? You're welcome, Uncle C. My protege is the CEO's nephew. Yep. He's my nephew. Darren tricked us all. No, he tricked me. <laughs> I can't let this happen. Uh, this is a real game changer. All thanks to my great genius. Nothing can stop me now. <laughs> Good. My tablet still controls the thing. <laughs> Go, me. Elevator oh, going down. Naughty. Naughty. And now to teach Darren a lesson. <laughs> Stupid unworking boot! Hey, turn that camera off! Ben, you just showed the CEO that he shouldn't mess with us. Again. That may be. But I also let Darren wheedle his way into our lives because I was so eager to have a protege. And don't forget, you also ruined your friendship with Ginger. Hank, no! That's one of those sad things you don't say out loud because it hurts too much to hear. Oh, right. Sorry, Ben. Not that stuff I said. Actually, I'm not good. And I won't be good until I earn Ginger's friendship back. And only when I do will I consider myself good. So, I'll just sit here waiting for that to happen. In limbo! Somewhere between good and evil! Oh, that's a relief. I'd hate to go out on a sad note. <laughs>